71 times in the Simpson case, the prosecution of the defense said, this trial is a search for truth. Let me be very clear, criminal trials are not a search for truth. All of the evidence in this case was incredibly overwhelming uh, in the criminal case. I mean, it was, there, is, there was no question, I think, to fair observers I agree. that there was proof beyond a reasonable doubt. Well, those of us who were there felt it was, there became, I don't want to say it wasn't groupthink, we were, we were living in kind of a vacuum to some degree. And you started to hear argument after argument from the defense, many of which, I would argue most of which, bordered on the absurd, but some of which were legitimate questions about the way the crime scene was handled, uh, about this blood on the sock, et cetera. And I think the jurors lost perspective of the big picture. That case, you know, because of OJ's celebrity, because of his race, because of the race of the victim, uh, because of the race of the police officers, and the time, it was already a race case. And my hope was that we could steer the jury and, and you know, back to the issue of, of evidence. African-American jurors are more likely to have experiences that demonstrate that policemen are capable of lying. If you were brought up in inner city LA, in a black community, you have a brother or an uncle or a sister who may have been abused by a policeman, white or black, and therefore they were much more open to the kind of argument that we were making about greet with suspicion, testimony of police officers who honestly believe the defendant is guilty. The country was divided about how to look at this case based on their race. And so I think that it is impossible to say that in the end, the jury simply looked at the evidence. It saddens me to hear that we're not allowed to think that you go to court to first search for justice. That's painful. I have an eight-year-old that I'm trying to raise. What am I supposed to instill in him when we have that? teaching us that we're not supposed to get the search for justice. The police, yeah, they do, but you can't trust them. So where is the truth supposed to come from? A man in particular that I recall in a, in a um, airport, he came up to me and he said, it was a black man, and he said, can I talk to you? And this was, let me add, right after the trial. Can I talk to you? And I said, well, absolutely. And he said, oh, that really surprises me. And I said, why? And he said, because I'm black. And I said, forgive me. And he said, well, black man murdered your son. And I said, but you didn't. And he cried because he said there was no one in his family or his close group of friends that believed that that monster was not guilty. 